guys, so this video is going to be part 2 of best of 2012 and it's going to be purely makeup and nail stuff. I'm going to start with um, face product and my number one um, tinted moisturizer for 2012 would definitely be my Estee Lauder um, Day Wear Sheer Tint Release with SPF 15 inside. I've raved about this product many times already and um, it's still one of my favorite um, tinted moisturizer. It claims to fit all skin type. Um, I have dry skin and I feel I it feel uh, very moisturizing on my face. Um, it gives me a really nice uh, skin tone I guess. Um, yet it's not heavy, it's very sheer and um, it gives you a very very nice glow. Um, some people use it underneath their foundation, but I feel comfortable enough to use this uh, on on its own. Um, I've discovered uh, recently something a bit similar, but on the cheaper side, and it's from Soap and Glory, and it's called Glow Job. Um, it's basically a moisturizing lotion um, that would that have like these little built-in beads. Um, that once you uh, kind of rub it in your face, it kind of gives you a nice, a nice glow. Uh, I can't really show you inside because it's it's so uh, small that you might not see it, but it's really really nice. It it has the same concept as uh, Estee Lauder, maybe not as good, but um, same thing, and it's extremely moisturizing. Um, when, on days that I need um, like a little powder or something a bit more. Um, covering, I would use t tend to use my Benefit Hello Falls, and this is in color beige, and it has SPF 15 inside. I touch pan already on this one. Um, it gives you a really nice natural sheer coverage, and uh, I love that it's um, it has like a little mirror and a sponge and all that stuff, so you can bring it all over the face with you. If I'm not using my Hello Flawless Benefit, I would tend to use my Pure Mineral um, Press Foundation, and it's actually I'm actually out of it because it's it's been a while. Um, but I want to show you their bronzer in Mineral Glow that I've touched pan also that is amazing in their Marble Blush in Spice that comes with the starter kit. That is really really nice and I have it on today. It gives you a really nice natural glow. It's very quick and easy type of makeup. And I feel like it, it's really it's a lot better for your face because it's mineral. Um, for concealer, my favorite concealer would be this sheer cover duo concealer in light and medium. The medium part is completely gone almost. Uh, but I also use the me the light sometimes just to um, highlight uh, the nose my nose bridge or my um, my cheekbones, and I would put a little bit of Hello Flawless Benefit over it, and I'm good to go. Um, I find that it's even better than the makeup uh, the Mac uh, little pot concealer. I find it's very similar, but I've I find that this one is less drying and a bit more moisturizing than uh, the MAC one. If I'm not using that one, I would probably be using my Maybelline Age Rewind um, Eraser Dark Circle. And this one is in medium, I think. Yes, it is. And I had to buy a new one already because it's probably like my fifth or fourth one that I've been buying. It's very um, long lasting also, which I really like. Um, for highlighter, I really like, uh, I've tried so many kind and I haven't, I, this one is the one that I love the most because it gives you kind of that ca candlelight, uh, natural glow because I don't like really chunky glitter or, um, something that would be, uh, that would look too makeup-y. Um, this one from Prestige. Um, it's their uh, Prestige Skin Loving Minerals. It's like a little marble. And this one is in Pure Shimmer. It says Pure Shimmer, but it's not shimmery at all. It's a very, f it's very, um, a fine, uh, pow like, pressed powder. Um, 
that gives you a really natural glow always have lots of compliments when I wear this it looks amazing on pictures uh, I tend to use this with my MAC um, cream color base in shell that is a similar champagne color very natural and very long lasting um, for bronzer my number one bronzer of all time would be definitely um, Benefit Dallas um, I touch pan already on this one but I have a backup already I love it so much um, it gives you a really natural bronzy look very pigmented so you don't need a lot which I love um, I found I find that the Smashbox bronzer in Golden Glow it's their green room bronzer um, it, it looks very it's a very um, similar color but I think this one is like organic or something biodegradable compact um, it's like their green um, line and it's really 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 nice um, it has this kind of like reddish bronzy color so for people that are ha that have very fair skin just ve just be careful using this because it might look a bit yellow um, orange on you um, but for people that have all its olive skin tone like me it looks really really nice um, for blush I have a lot of blush to show you guys my top two MAC blushes would be Stark Naked, which is a um, cold, like a blue, a pinkish blue with like some gold shimmer inside. This is actually limited edition, but if you can find it, grab it at your um, CEO or uh, CCO or Ulta. Uh, Ulta? No, CCO. Um, and this blush from MAC, for, and it's called Tippy from their... Uh, Hello Kitty collection. I am in love with this. It's, it gives you a really nice, um, like pinkish glow to you, to your face. Sorry. Next would be this blush from Bailey, and it's their dual blush in flush and leger. Very nice and extremely pigmented, and has like a little mirror. Uh, next would be this Pandora box blush in Saint Tropez very um, nice and pink um, it gives you a very natural uh, look and that's it for face no I'm lying um, I have two products for eyebrows of uh, my first is this brow powder pencil in it from it cosmetic it's really really good one end is your um, your pencil and the other end is a little brush um, this claims to fit any any um, hair color because uh, it could go on very very light uh, for blondes but if you press a little bit harder it could be as dark um, as dark as you want um, so I find that it's a very versatile um, product that works and that it lasts all day and it, it yet it gives you a very natural look on your eyebrows um for long lasting brow um i would go definitely with my makeup forever uh waterproof eyebrow corrector and this one is in number i'm not sure which color is this one but it's one of their darker darker color you can have um, many colors and it's like a squeeze um, tube so you have to use like a little pen uh, a little um, brow brush for it but it's very very good and long-lasting whenever I have white eyeliner in my waterline it's definitely Mac fascinating eye coal it's the best white eye coal that I've ever used very long-lasting it's my pencil is kind of bean but it's uh it's still so very very good and extremely creamy um for lips my favorite tinted lip balm would be my baby lips from maybelline and this one is in pink punch whenever you i go 
um, down south or whenever I have a nice tan. I love to use this because it brings out um, a really nice natural um, pink pout and um, I really really like this. I actually bought like a second one already because I, I'm afraid to run out of it. Um, and my two other like lipstick would be these um, Revlon lip butters. Um, the one that I use the most is this pink one that is called Lollipop. And I'm almost out of it already, if you can see. And on days that I feel like I need um, a bit more color, I would use Cherry Tart, which is their red one. It goes on very... If you're interested in trying like a red lip and you're not too sure um, if you want to go like a really bold lip, try this because it's very... It goes on very sheer and very light. Um, for eye primer, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion is the best one. I also use it a little bit underneath here on my um, on my dark circle um, before putting my concealer, and it I find that it helps uh, my concealer stay on a bit longer. Um, eyeshadow now, I'm I'm coming to the end now. I have a lot of stuff to show you guys, but. It's all really, really nice stuff that I, I love. Um, if I can pick only one MAC eyeshadow, it would definitely be this one. And it's called Woodwink. It's a, it's the, um, I have it on right now. And it's my favorite, favorite MAC eyeshadow of all time. It gives you a really nice bronzy, um, Victoria-esque, uh, secret-esque um, look. And it's very... Uh, it's not too much in your face. Um, even if it wash out, it wash out really nicely. Uh, it's extremely blendable, creamy on your eyes, and I I love everything about it. Um, for if I have to buy um, any palette, it would be my Urban Decay Naked palette. I have the first and the second one, and they are the best um, palette that I've I've used. Um, so far um, they're probably 45 to 50 dollar each at Sephora but it's totally worth it if you're from the UK and you're lucky enough to uh, be able to get sleek makeup I love this palette from from them and it's called storm it's very similar to the naked palettes because it's very neutral colors um, I absolutely love them um, it's extremely creamy and um, and soft, like just like a Derby Decay. Um, for makeup brushes, I've tried Sigma, Mac, a lot of brushes, um, but I always tend to go back to my Elf, good old Elf um, brushes that are super cheap. Uh, my favorite one is the Elf powder brush, the one that has like the top. I usually use this with my Hello Be Hello Flawless Benefit. Uh, for the elf blush brush is really good too and the complexion brush is another brush that is really nice and they're like three dollars at elf um, eyeslipsface.com it's extremely cheap and I'm going to the nails right now my favorite 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 nail polish of 2012 would be julep hands down I have a box full of it um, I'm a monthly subscriber and I love it. I love it so much. Um, I love how the colors, um, are so unique. Whenever I get, um, I don't know if I can show you. Uh, whenever I get nail polish from them, the, the colors are always so unique and, um, long lasting, um, very opaque, um, like this one it's really nice my gen the january um collection was amazing so i got i got the whole collection um i've been only using um julep nail polish on my fingers um the one that i have on right now is called cena and it's this really gorgeous champagne color and i'm telling you all their nail polish is amazing it's very long lasting easy to apply um unique colors a large variety and if you're a subscriber um a monthly subscriber you get it even cheaper because at sephora each one of them is like 14 dollars so 
go and um, get the, your subscription service. Um, other than that, I really love Revlon. Revlon have been coming out with awesome new um, colors. This one is Heavenly. It's like a dupe of uh, Deborah Lipman. And uh, Nicole from OPI is amazing. They, they've been coming out with amazing collection. This one is Selena Gomez and Family, more Modern Family. And they are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. This one is Haley Good Looking. And this one is Inner Sparkle, which is like gorgeous glitter. And after two coats of them, um, I feel that it's uh, enough to, to cover my, my nails. And my last product is my favorite top coat, and it's Sesh Vite, always. I can't say anything uh, enough good stuff about it. Uh, I know that there's like, um, you know, there's people that hate it, hate it because of birth defect or whatever that says in the back. But seriously, if you don't inhale it or eat it, you're fine. Really, it's only in your nails. Um, so that's pretty much it for my best of 2012. I hope this helped um, you pick and choose. Um, the best stuff out there because there's so many stuff and um and yeah so have a good day and i'll see you guys very soon bye